The entire plan for the year was focused on these two things. Get my robots in and get them ready. My name is Brandon Young, Team Bone Dead Robotics. With regards to the World Finals, I think about it every single day of how I'm going to play that out. I had a bit of a benefit in that each of my robots ended up fighting perhaps their really strong counters at some point. Like Vorion fought a multiplier back in March. Really huge moment for the year. That was the test. Vorion is this close to getting in a multiplier. And then Phenomenon doing very well in its own competition. That's sort of like the double jeopardy I have planned out. If I think about who I am most afraid of, I think, well, if I have to go between the brackets, if one of them gets those robots and the second one can keep going, as Phenomenon Spot and Boreon Spot, I learn from each machine to put into the other one. Now I can guarantee that whatever goes to finals is the best version of each machine. These guys are very different than my normal machines. The goal actually was to test different stuff for each different idea. So for Mind Flayer, it was this purple hub motor right here in the center. This is a prototype of Phenomenon that it used in the June event. I wanted to take that base prototype, put it in a smaller robot weight class, and see how well it handles the beatings. What I learned today is the prototype was not nearly as good as the original one that Phenomenon has. And then Riccati Womp is my three pounder right here. One of my favorite rivals, Megatron, is very, very well known for having sort of the three forks and then a centerpiece in the middle to sort of control things. So the idea is that I want a robot that also can control and grapple them. And now looking forward in the finals, maybe that's something I want to try in Phenomenon and maybe even Vorion, depending on how it handles it.